What's up, YouTube? Simply. Oh, look here. Today we have an epic, classic Yu-Gi-Oh! video. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! 2005 Force Raider 10. And hopefully, we get some awesome pools, and then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And before we get started with this opening, you guys, I have a very important proposal, and I really need your guys' help with it. So, I've got a lot of messages from you guys recently on Patreon, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter, everything. I've been checking out everything because recently, obviously, I went full-time with Simple and Lucky, and I really appreciate all the positive feedback that I've gotten from you guys for that. And uh, But there's been a, been a very similar message that I've gotten from a lot of you guys, and it's that when I proposed going full-time, you know, I mentioned that the end game would be having you know two full-time workers with Simply and Lucky really trying to push things to the next, next level and that would be you know two videos a day on Simply and Lucky and two videos a day on Simply Roman basically a video every six hours and uh, a lot of you guys messaged me back on that and you and you said um, that you would rather Simply and Lucky just have one video a day and that you think that it'd be better you know if I went back to kind of how I used to do things and diversify the different types of content and so here I am today you guys asking is that what, mo what most of you guys would like to see? Would you like me to diversify or simply and lucky to diversify this different types of content you know, that I create? So basically, simply and lucky would go back to what it's used to be and be, become just a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. And I would still do 14 plus videos a week, but basically simply and lucky would have one video a day still. And so that'd be, that'd be just fine. Still seven videos a day on Simply and Lucky, but I'd probably say I'd do like maybe one video a week that would just be something other than Yu-Gi-Oh. But basically, Yu-Gi-Oh channel would be Simply and Lucky with one video a day. And then Simply and Roman would go back to Simply Pokemon and I'd be posting Pokemon videos on Simply Pokemon. And then Simply, then I would create a new channel for Magic the Gathering called Simply MTG and then a new Simply TCG channel. And so you guys, some of you guys are asking, do you even play that much MTG? And I actually do play a lot of Magic the Gathering and so that's why I would really want to have a channel just for that because um, I know I don't talk about it much but that's because I play a lot of limited format in Magic and that you don't actually need that much knowledge of the current meta in order to do that kind of the same concept as booster box battles you know you just need to know about the two different booster boxes you're battling with and so that's kind of how limited format works with Magic the Gathering so I do still want to make a good amount of Magic the videos and that's why I would create a separate channel for that and then simply TCG would obviously be everything else like uh, Naruto Vanguard, White Schwartz, you know, all those other cool, awesome TCGs out there, or whatever random card games we want to open. And so let me know if that's really what you guys would want uh, for the full time schedule to be on four different channels, you know, really to diversify Simply and Lucky. And uh, I think overall I wouldn't mind doing it just because, you know, as long as I'm able to kind of show the different things that I'm interested in as a content creator, you know, that's not a big deal to me. But I really need to know in the comments below if that's what you guys want to do because that's, you know, really a huge change compared to you know the direction that I was kind of going and so yes I'm gonna need your guys help with that so please post in the comments below if you want simply and lucky to diversify um, the content through different channels and remember still one video a day on simply and lucky for you Gio. all right you guys so here we go bringing it back with a 2005 classic and nostalgic tin opening the Vorse Raider and if we uh, check out the back here it actually says it won, one of each pack included Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation, Soul of a Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Eternity. So, super excited for that. And thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, you guys, for the beautiful, the awesome, the Hatsune Miku playing Matt here with some ooh, nice pro mat blues. Cool. All right, you guys, let's get started with this tin opening. Actually, um, on Patreon, you know, I got a lot of messages asking for a more classic product. And so, uh, I figured I haven't opened a tin in a while, so... Hopefully this is nice enough for that. And uh, yeah, once again, I appreciate the help on Patreon. All right, you guys. Here you go, guys. Uh, Vorse Raider from 2005. Nice secret rare classic card. That 2005 air coming right out of the tin right now. You guys actually. Ooh, take a whiff of that. There you go. <laughs> Very awesome. So here he is, the Vorse Raider. The Wicked Beast. Where does every horrid thing imaginable imaginable and loves it uh, his axe bears the marks of his countless victims I kind of knew it I've, I was like 40 50 percent sure next time next time all right so there's our awesome Vorse Raider card here and also in our tin Yu-Gi-Oh GX next generation generation X I remember how excited I was for Yu-Gi-Oh the dual Academy episodes to be released all right we got the dark beginning the dark revelation 
um, Soul of a Duelist, Rise of Destiny and Flaming Eternity. And uh, in my other classic videos, you guys, you know, we usually go over this, but really, we just, we really want to pull one foil out of these packs, you know, because sometimes I don't, and that's, that's kind of disappointing. Sometimes we don't, but, uh, but yeah, let's get started. So we'll kind of go in a random order here. Let's start with Rise of Destiny. So we're hoping for one foil, two foils for an O baby. Any more than that, you guys, and it gets insane. And I think Godly, Godly's just, we don't even want to talk about that. But here we go. So shooting for one foil. First pack, Rise of Destiny. And of course, they made so many first edition, first edition Rise of Destiny packs that most Rise of Destiny packs are first edition in these sealed products. Raging Flame Sprite. Spell Purification. Mighty Guard, a machine soldier that was developed as a guard. It makes it has rust proof metal. Mirage Dragon, classic card that was used back in the day. Pretty cool. Sasuke Samurai number four. I used to call it Suzuki, but then Naruto taught me the right way. <laughs> Very cool. Eagle's Eye. Furin Kazan. I still try to use that card in Samurai decks every now and then. Love it. Um, it's just it's a very fun card overall. And then Moki Moki King for that Moki Moki Smackdown and Harvey Lady 3. Alright, you guys. Now let's do Dark Revelation. Taking it back with a blast from the past. Dark Revelation. Kind of, I think it's, it's those five sets, five or six sets after the first five or six kind of thing. So here we go. Got our tip card. Guardian Trice from uh, Dark... Oh, really? Dark Crisis. Acrobat Monkey. And... Autonomous monkey type of robot with those would develop for cutting edge technology. It moves very acrobatically. Gravekeeper Spear Soldier. Des Dendel. Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. And there we go, our first foil card. Berserk Dragon. Very awesome. So we actually got a foil out of these. I'm happy. <laughs> and uh, it's actually a zombie dragon, which isn't, um, it's kind of rare to find. So uh, if you guys are wondering. So both zombie and dragon. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by the deal with the Dark Ruler. This card can attack all monsters your opponents on your opponent's side of the field once each. Decrease the attack this card by 500 points during the end phase of each of your turns. So it's actually a 3500 monster. Pretty sweet. Berserk Dragon. Arsenal Robber. Regeki Break. Nice. Dark Scorpion combination. Uh, Cestus of Dalga and Morale Boost with Kishido Spirit. Alright, we'll sleeve up that Berserk Dragon. Alright, you guys, now I'm feeling some Flames of Eternity. Here we go. Come on, one more foil. Let's get that O baby. A rescue Cat. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Remember that Booster Box battle? That was Good Goblin Housekeeping. Hex Sealed Fusion Hyena. Cross Counter. Awesome picture. The Des Kangaroo versus the Behemoth King of Beasts, I think. And Mecha Dog Marin. Released with Strength. Catnip Kitty and the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. So there's uh, the actual Gear Freak guy that was restrained. Alright. Next pack here. Um, let's go with Dark Beginning. Another blast from the past. Are the cards guide us? All right, you guys. If we believe together, we can get that second foil for that oh baby tin opening. Here we go. Hitotsumi Giant, the one-eyed behemoth with thick, powerful arms made of for delivering punishing blows. Harpy's brother, no longer has that name anymore. The one-eyed hawk. Toon Mermaid. Jin Jizno number seven. Gurriggle. Nice. Shining Abyss. Light and the darkness. And Fisher for a rare. Close. Good card. Destroy face a monster with the lowest attack on your opponent's side of the field. Forced Requisition. Time Seal. That's banned. Enchanted Javelin. Malevolent Nuzzler. And Elegant Egotist. Alright you guys, here we go with the last pack of Destiny. No matter what, we can't complain. We did pull one foil card, and like I said, it's very hard to pull foils out of these tins, so I'm very happy that we did pull at least one. But will the Heart of the Cards guide us for this last pack? Here we go. Soul of the Duelist. 
Come on. Kariba! Red Eyes Bee Chick. A level up. Noble Man Eater Bug. Cemetery Bomb. And Mind on Air. Dang it. I guess my mind was just on air. <laughs> Absolute end. Ultimate Baseball Kid. Awesome. An Abyssal, Abyssal Designator and a Trojan Horse. I like that card a lot. Just because of that card, me and a lot of other people probably wanted to make fire decks. All right, you guys. So let's take a look at our rares here. Got that Sasuke Samurai. He's the uh, flip one. Yeah. Bows a monster toss a coin. If you call it right, you can destroy the opponent's monster with this effect. Wow. Cross counter, fissure, and mind on air. Your opponent must continue to show his or her hand. Interesting. And for our foils, we got that Vorse Raider from the tin and the awesome zombie dragon, the Berserk Dragon. Very cool. And then once again, you guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply, all lucky, signing out. And please, you guys, post in the comments below on if you guys think diversifying, simply and lucky into multiple channels is what you guys would like to see.